This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 23rd day of March. I'm James Spann. Rain at times again today, but the weather over the weekend will be greatly improved. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. First off, coming from Trussville. Rain is falling there. Sky is cloudy. Here's a look at those low clouds just hanging over the city of Birmingham from the Sky cam on top of the Daniel building that's looking south over toward the uh, UAB campus and the medical complex there. And downtown Clanton in Chilton County looking pretty good. That big old upper low just creeping northeast, slowly weakening. It's located around Tulsa and Wichita this morning. And again, we are in that moisture axis. Here's a look at the showers and thunderstorms at exactly 5 o'clock. Some Heavier rain up and down I-65 from Birmingham down toward Montgomery, but not raining everywhere. We'll kind of see the radar looking like that much of the day today. There's our watch warning map. Actually, things are pretty quiet. Uh, we've got a lot of counties in green over the Mid-South, and that's some uh, river flood warnings. Still, there's a, a flash flood watch for parts of southwest Alabama, but again, much of the country is pretty quiet. The guys at SPC have removed Alabama from that slight risk today, and I think that's a great call. They've got the uh, standard risk well to the north of here, and there's the probabilities and just the low-end chance of a strong storm maybe later today. If the sun can break out and temperatures get up in the low 80s, we could see a few strong storms, but again, the severe weather parameters are very marginal. And then tomorrow, a slight risk off to the east along the South Atlantic coast. Here's the rain for the next five days. Now, this takes into account the rain that started last night at 7, but this is showing the heavier rain over southwest Alabama. I think today we'll pick up an additional one-half to one inch. And after that, things look pretty dry for a few days. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. The upper low is over Missouri. And down below that, again, we're clearly in that deeper moisture axis. So we'll forecast occasional showers and thunderstorms today with a high in the mid-70s. But tomorrow we get in the dry slots, so it should be a pretty nice day. Partly sunny with mid-70s likely. Just a small chance of a stray shower. We think most places will be dry. Sunday, just gorgeous. The upper low is kicked out, and we are in very dry air. So sunny and less humid, and highs in the upper 70s. Pretty much the same deal on Monday of next week. Tuesday looks good. We note that uh, deep surface low over the Dakotas with the trailing front, but there's hardly any moisture with that. Wednesday, the surface low moves over into um, around Windsor, Ontario, and you can see the front approaching Memphis. And there might be a shower Wednesday or Wednesday night, but there's no upper support. And then Thursday, the front just fizzles out. So we might mention widely scattered showers Wednesday night or Thursday of next week, but no big deal. And there's Friday of next week, a week from today, March 30th. Got some uh, shortwave energy coming in from the west, and again, that might kick off a few showers or storms, maybe Friday night or the following Saturday. But again, the good news, that would suggest nothing in terms of any severe weather. We'll check the end of the forecast, April 7th. No cold look here. Uh, shortwave energy off to the west, maybe some severe weather if that's right over Texas and Oklahoma. But again, the weather here looks pretty quiet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on TV this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.